Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Hala from Syria. I'm a belly dance teacher, choreographer and performer. And today I'm going to teach you the second type of hip circle. Last video I taught you the inner hip circle or the interior hip circle where we don't come out of our body access. So it's inside our body, we're just circling our hips. This hip circle is called the exterior hip circle and it's very fun and big and noticeable. So it's this. It can be done in a small range like this, or we can make it a bit bigger and we can bend our back this way for more emphasis where the music calls for it. So maybe in ballad style, uh, we use it a lot like this. We slow down and then we come back up quickly again. All right, this move depends heavily on the hip slide. If you haven't watched that video, I'll link it up here for you. Make sure you master the hip slides before you come here to learn this movement. So we're gonna be sliding our hips side to side. If you remember in the last video, the interior hip circle, we bent our knees because we need to change the level of the hips, hips up and down. But for this move, we need our knees to be straight because we cannot change the hip level. We need the hips to be completely horizontal, right? We don't want any vertical change this way. So we stand with the knees a bit straight. We, so we don't even need them to be locked 100% because we're going to hurt our knees, but straight. So we don't want that bent that we talked about in the first video. So we don't want this, right? We just want it to be straight so it allows for a perfectly horizontal movement in the hips. So we're going to use the slides and we're going to be pushing forward and back using our glutes and our hip flexors. All right, so let's begin with the explanation. So the first thing I need you to do is make sure your chest is lifted, your shoulders are down and relaxed, arms to the side, head up, this is very open, all right? So we're gonna make our knees straight and slide our hips side to side. The technique I already taught in the hip slide video, so make sure to check that out first. Right and left, right and left. Make sure your chest is not moving. So you're centered here, you're centered with your head, it's just your hips that's sliding outside your body. You want to make sure you exaggerate this move as much as you can. Use your range of motion. Whatever flexibility you have, use it to push your hips outside. We want to make this angle with our body. So this is the first line and this is the second line and here is our angle. So right and left and right and left. So what we're gonna add now is a, a, a hip push using our glutes. So push forward. Remember I talked about it in the interior hip circle. If we use our glutes, it's going to push forward. But if we use our lower abdomen muscles, then it's going to tuck in. So that's what I was talking about, that we shouldn't use our glutes in the interior hip circle because it's going to give a different look. So we're going to use it in the exterior hip circle, pushing forward with the glutes. You just clench your glutes to push your hip forward and you form another angle. So this way, this is a line and your legs are in the second line. So push forward and then go back. Push forward and go back. So you have two choices. You either can go back to form this 90 degrees with your body. So your legs are straight, your back is 100% straight. Make sure not to round your back. Or you can just keep your upper body in place, but just push back. So push forward, push back, push forward, push back. So you have two choices and they give different looks and both of them are great and both of them are used differently. So you can learn both. So let's start with the small range of motion first with our upper body still 100%. So right, front, left, back, right, front and left and back. My upper body is not moving at all, right? I'm staying in place, I'm not bending it, right? So up to here. I'm not moving, okay? So here, right and front and left and back, right and front and left and back, right and front and left and back, 
right and front and left and back. Don't forget your knees are straight, they're not bent, okay? It's gonna be a bit more difficult, but later when you are more um, masterful, you can bend your knees because your body knows 100% how to do this movement. So you will be able to manage with bent knees to slide your hip horizontally. But for now, for practicing and for mastering this move, make sure your knees are straight. So right and front and left and back, right and front and left and back. So connect the dots together. You make an exterior hip circle. So in this first kind, make sure your upper body is not moving at all. Right? Now we're gonna try the bigger range of motion. So with the bigger range of motion, we push right, we push front, we push left the same way. But when we go back, that's where we, we change the technique. We want to pull our upper body down. So we're forming this 90 degree angle. Make sure your knees are straight, not 100%, but not like not locked, but also not bent. So the straight, your lower back is straight, your upper back is straight. If you have any problems with your knees or back, don't do this move. But if you don't, then try for this straight look. So that's when you actually move your upper body, when you go to the back, right? So this way, back, this way, and back. So our upper body is just turning opposite to our hips, if you think about it this way. So you can think about it as if you're only moving when you're going back, or you can think about it that you're moving opposite to your hip direction with your upper body for every count. So you can say that when I go right, my upper body goes left for exaggeration. When, my, when I go front, my upper body goes back. When I go left, my upper body goes right. When I go back, my upper, my upper body goes front and down, right? So you can think of it this way, or just think of it that your upper body is still until you go down and you will, basically naturally do this opposition but it for different students it helps to have different methodology of thinking about the moves so let's try it right and front and go down right and front and left and down right and front and left and down this is always nice from an angle so um, we rarely perform this move from the front i love it from the side right I don't love it so much from the back. <laughs> uh, it's not my cup of tea, but um, I prefer from the side. But of course you can use the move to whatever you like. So right and front and left and back, right and front and left and back. You can put one arm on your belly and one arm on your uh, head. This is a very belly look and it's very beautiful. So the arm that is showing the audience is on the belly, the opposite arm is on the head and right and front and left and back. All right, so let's practice a bit actually. All right, so now I'm going to do eight small circles and then I'm going to move into eight big circles, okay? So with the same tempo, we're not changing the speed. So arms to the side, knees straight, chest up, pelvis tucked in. One, left and back, two and front and left and back. Three and front and left and back, four and front and left and back. Five and front and left and back, six and front and left and back. And last one, very good. Now let's take it to a bigger one. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Three and two and, and four. Four and two and three and four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Now let's take it the opposite direction, small circles. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Three and two and three and four. Four and two and three and four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Take it big. And one and two and three and four. Two and two and three and four. Three and two and three and four. Four and two and three and four. Five and six and seven and eight. Good job. Very good. Let's try to do some music now. T. 
один, три, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bigger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Take it to the opposite direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bigger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job. This move is very fun because it can be stylized a lot. Some dancers even take it way down to this point. They go down all the way and come up here. So it can be stylized a lot and I love it. It has a lot of different variations. Even you can circle, you can do some hip twists, some hip locks, some hip lifts. So this way, for example, go and then you stop here, you do some hip lifts you go back or for example you go here and then you switch direction again so it's very fun especially in melody style so i encourage you to practice never give up thank you so much for watching make sure to like the video subscribe and hit the bell because i have videos coming for you every tuesday and friday